Well, big Formula One news tonight. The American group Liberty Media completed their takeover of the sport. That was uh, coming. But the really big news is they replaced Bernie Eccleston as chief executive. Yes, the man who's been running Formula One for decades has now been pushed upstairs to become chairman emeritus. Well, I'm joined by uh, one of the most uh, expert journalists on uh, the subject of Formula One, Chris Thilt. Very good uh, to talk good to you. Uh, what's happened? What's going on? Why did he go? Well, I mean, essentially, these new owners, Liberty Media, uh, an American investment firm, they're looking to uh, really start a new dorm for Formula One. So they've made probably the most significant change and indeed the riskiest change that you could make to the sport. I mean, they didn't take very long over it. No. But well, how fine a fettle would you say the sport is in at the moment? I mean, obviously, it has its <laughs> ups and downs, but is it, in, is, is it in one of its ups or is it in one of the downs? It's in a pre pretty precarious place. Normally, you have a situation where the teams, uh, you have 11 teams, uh, the teams are in trouble. One of them recently went uh, bankrupt to Manor, um, based in, uh, <coughs> in the Midlands, um, so that's not good. But the other 10 that remain are in pretty stable shape. The problem is with the circuits. Silverstone, which is the home to the British Grand Prix, um, is well documented to be in uh, a spot of bother. There is race in Malaysia that's uh, looking to, to leave, Singapore looking to leave. That's really, I mean, the races provide the second largest, very close to the largest source of revenue for Formula One, you know, uh, basically around a third of its 1.7 billion turnover. But how will history judge Bernie Eccleston? He's had oh. quite a, he, did he stay too yeah. long? I mean, he, I, no, I mean, I think the thing with Bernie Eccleston is that the, uh, he really built up Formula One from uh, an enthusiast sport into the world's most watched annual sporting series. He signed virtually all these deals that bring in this nearly $2 billion revenue. He's 86. You would have thought they could have kept him on for a few years just to actually, really to see out his tenure rather than take this huge gamble of replacing him. You're a Bernie fan, because I mean, they've <laughs> given him ch Chairman Emeritus. I mean, that's, it's kind of dignity intact, isn't it? Or yes, not? I think the problem is that he's still very hands-on, incredibly hands-on with all of the key deals, really, whether it's broadcasting, race hosts, all of it. So they're taking a big gamble. Chris, thanks very much. No thanks. problem.